Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome back to another pack open here on FIFA, FIFA, FIFA 17. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so we got uh, we're going to open three of these jumbo premium gold packs this episode, and then we're going to finish off another 4,000 FIFA points with premium gold packs. Of course, we are still looking for some of these Halloween players. We need five Halloween players to cash in to get Dimitri Payet, but I'm thinking, why? Is <laughs> they're not? Don't get me wrong, Dimitri Payet is fantastic as 87 rated, but you can pack an 87 rated Halloween version of Dimitri Payet anyway. So it might be worth just keeping it on. I have to do some more research and see what it is all about. But let's start things off with our first Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. So we've got six of these left. We've got three in this episode and three in the next episode as well. First off, we've got ourselves Mustafi. That's not bad. 83 rated defender. That's actually pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think now whether... Mertesacker was a... Oh, bloody hell, this is a good pack. Begovic as well, 83. Ron Robert Zila, 81. Uh, Smoloff from the Russian League as well. That's actually a really good pack. We'll sell you because you're part of the Liga Nos squad build, which some people are still doing. Any duplicates down the bottom? We do have a couple of duplicates. I don't know whether a gold... You know what? A gold-rated player in the championship might just sell because I've been looking for them a minute ago when I was doing one of the other squad building challenges to get the Halloween kit... Um, so that might just sell, actually. So we've got another two of these to open these episodes. These Jumbo Premium Gold Packs have been really good for us so far. We've uh, got an 83 rated player in every single one. Are we going to get another one? It looks like I've spoken too quickly. Those will get a 76 rated player. Now that is pretty much piss poor, isn't it, really? If you excuse my language, that was really, really bad. Um, and this entire pack for 300 coins is a bit of a write-off. We're perfect in the club anyway. Tito might sell. You're the Liga Nos. You might sell. Japanese player might sell for the strong link to Kagawa. And Diego Simeone might sell. Are you going to sell? No, you're from the Russian League. You probably won't. I'm going to put you in anyway, though. Why not? I've got the space in the transfer list. And he might just sell. He's a rare player. Could come in handy for someone's squad build challenge, I suppose. So the last Jumbo Premium Gold Pack of the episode. We're going to get anything good. We've got three rare players. El Shawari? No. Bonaventura? No, I think that is a duplicate. Um, unless I've used him for something else. But either way, 82 rated left midfield. It isn't bad. So we've got Origi. Another player from uh, the Premiership, which is always useful. Because we do like to utilise our Premiership squad as much as we can. Um, we've got quite a lot of stuff. Uh, of course, we will sell Bonaventura been lucky here i think uh liga nos player liga nos player of course people are doing the um you know what, let's put you on the i don't even know, I don't know if these things sell or not uh, of course people doing uh liga nos players for the uh jonas squad builder so you never know they might actually people might buy them so a non-rare to start things off from our standard standard packs a non-rare the 81 rated huntley are isn't bad is it i suppose can't moan too much about that. We've only got eight spaces left on our transfer list, so I might have to be a little bit more picky. But then again, an 80 and an 81, you can't not put them on the transfer list. If worse comes to worst, I'll do what I've done in previous uh, episodes, and I will just uh, cut the video for a few seconds while I go and sell some stuff, and then uh, come back and open some... Whoa, that's not the right one. Almost, almost opened a pack that we're supposed to open next episode. Come on, give us something. We've got two flares... That's the Juventus guy. Lamina, is that Lamina? Yes, it is. Now, this guy, I think he's really, really good because he's actually from Gabon, which means that he creates a very good link between Aubameyang and um, and the uh, the Serie A. So he's a real good player. And he's a duplicate, so I'm sure we'll sell him. John O'Shea, I don't think you'll sell anyway with your John O'Shea. You probably would, but not for enough coins to, uh, to use one of the spaces on our transfer list. So we'll just quick sell you for now. And we'll keep going. So we've got another 2,900 FIFA points to open in this episode. I reckon I'm going to have to cut the video at some point now, aren't I? Elm? Nothing special. Where are you from, actually? Come on. Because I was trying to do the uh, one of the squad builders the other day. Oh, Morales. We've got another uh, MLS player, which is always useful for our uh, Giovinco um, squad builder. Which we haven't completed that yet. I spent so much time, effort, and money... On uh, doing the Jonas one that I've uh, sort of held back on the Giovinco one a little bit. I will do it at some point though. Another rare player. Come on. Oh, is it going to be Lazio's Basta? Is that Basta? No, it's not. It's De Vries. 82 rated centre-back. Not too bad. Happy with that. Happy with that. Um, anyone else of any use? It's 
So the store you in the club. Are you worth putting on the transfer list, my friend? Or are you going to sell for more or less? Uh, nothing, aren't you, really? So we'll get, we'll get rid of you. No one cares about you. We'll get rid of you. Just sweep you under the carpet like you didn't exist. Right, another flare. So we've got a rare player. And it is going to be... Dumbia. 91 pace. Bloody hell, he doesn't look like he's got 91 pace. He looks like an old man in that picture. And he is a duplicate as well. I'm sure that with 91 pace, he will sell. So we'll definitely have to put him on the transfer list. Uh, everything else can go to the club, apart from you items, which are a duplicate. You are a Serbian defender from Russia, so you're not... Uh, Russia? From uh, Turkey, so you're not going to sell. So we'll keep a hold of you for now. Come on, we've not had a walkout in a very long time as well. Another flare, so we do have a gold rare player. Benfica's Salvio. Okay. Again, a player who will definitely sell, but we, we will keep him. We haven't got him in our club at the moment, so we'll definitely keep him. Larson could come in useful because he's a premiership crappy player, and those are always good for squad building challenges. Get rid of you. 2,300 FIFA points. I'm getting worried. We're halfway through our FIFA points, and we're yet to pack a single spooky player, so I don't think we're going to get this up high. I didn't realise how bad it was going to be. Danny Welbeck. Very interesting. So we're packing strikers now. We've not had strikers for a while. And we've been paying uh, Coutinho as a centre forward. So it's good to have some of these strikers. And you know what? Welbeck could be a good player for us. 86 pace, 80 dribbling, 75 shooting. He could be very, very useful. He probably sells for a bit as well, to tell the truth. Um, let's redeem these coins. Get ourselves close to the 30,000 mark. So I'm happy with that, Welbeck. He probably does sell for a bit. But I want to try and keep some of our players. Because we we keep using... Um, we keep selling good players. And we keep, uh, we keep cashing in on... Squad building challenges as well and losing some of our good players as well. So it's a bit annoying. Milik. Now Milik had a, an inform card a few weeks back and he's not even a rare. It's a bit of a shocker, isn't it? I don't think anyone would buy Milik now because he is a... Um, let's sell you, aren't they? Um, because he's a... Uh, like I say, people would just buy his inform card instead, which is a lot better, isn't it? Come on. We've got 2,000 FIFA points left on this video. And we still haven't a single spectacular player. Wow, big flare. We've got one. Where is it going to be? Who's it? It's Fellaini. Ooh, it's not the best one. Then again, I'm a Man United fan. I'm a Man United fan, so I'm happy to get Fellaini at the same time. Look at that, 91 physical. I've got some good ideas for this guy already, actually. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Really happy. How much are these cards selling for, though, just out of interest? Oh, sugar. I've just put him on the transfer list. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to put him on the transfer list. I meant to see how much he was going for. Oh, I'm such a boob. And I'm not going to sell him. I'll make that clear. I'm not going to sell him. I'm, I'm going to hold on for a minute. At the end of the video, we'll have a look and see how much he sells for. Um, but I'm not going to sell him anyway. PSV's Willems. Decent player. Once again, we might have to look at building maybe a, um, a squad for the, uh, the whatchamacallit. The, is it Iridivizi or something like that? Iridivizi? Because um, they do have some pretty good players over there at the moment. They're not. It's not going to be the best team in the world rating-wise, but it could, could be quite sweaty. And I think I think what I will try and do is, even though they are um, supposed to be squads based in the league, we can still do some pretty damn good stuff. Axu's got 91 pace as well. We could do, still do some pretty good stuff with... Um, basically cheat a little bit, can't we, I suppose? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to... I have two conversations at once with myself. It will put you on the transfer list because you'll sell. And that makes our transfer list full now, which is a little bit of a pain in the bum. Um, and we've still got 1,500 FIFA points left. Um, so let me go to transfers, transfer list. Let me take Mr. Uh, Fellaini out of there because he should not be in there. Um, so centre club. He quick sells for nearly 10,000 coins. That gives you an indication of how much he goes for. So we've sent Fellaini to the club. So that gives us one space now on our transfer list. Um, if we do fill that up, I'm going to have to come back and uh, and empty our, our uh, transfer list out. What I might do, if it if, it, if we go a few more uh, packs, I might just finish this one a little bit early and then just try and sell as many players as I can and then we'll open the rest of the packs. Oh my God, it's another one. It's another one. Oh, oh no way! <laughs> We got the 87 player! Oh, we don't need to the squad builder now, do we? We do not need to the squad builder. Oh, Shabba. Now, my question would be... 
I need to do some more research on these. Is he going to keep this rating after the Halloween or is he going to lose this rating? I think it will drop back down to what his standard rating is now. The only way we can get the consistent 87 is if we... Is if we... Um, I don't know, what is he rated normally? Is he 87 normal? Let me, let me Google this, let me Google this. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm wasting time here, aren't I? So Google... Um, Payet FIFA 17. Normally he's an 86. Normally he's an 86 uh, left midfielder, which is still pretty damn good. I'm happy to have him. Um, so basically, I think what will happen is when the when the um, the thing finishes, he'll drop back down to an 86. I don't know if he'll still keep the uh, the cool card effect. I hope he does keep the cool card effect. But I'm really I can't believe we've got both. Fellaini, there's me moaning we haven't got any and we've got both Fellaini and Payet. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I want to list on the transfer market. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Oh my god, look at this. Look how much he's going for. Look, someone's sending him for 189k, someone's bid on that. Holy crap. I, I want to keep him. You know what, I want to keep him. I'm not going to be a coin whore. I've got myself a really good player there that I really can't wait to start using. Alongside Fellaini as well. Fellaini's going to be a beast. That is so... I, I tell you what, I just panicked there for a second because I thought I might have hit the wrong button. I thought I might have quicksold it, which would have been absolutely gutted. Oh my god! I can't believe we've got Fellaini and Payet. Wow. So let's open some more packs then. You never know, we could uh, end up getting a, another one. Or we could end up getting a non-rare. So, uh, you know, it can go either way. Good old Johnny. Just to rub it in between some good, uh, some good players. <laughs> I, I apologise. That's really immature. Um, so we got him. Sorry, I'm just excited for getting those cards. I can't wait to use them now. Um, so we want to send all to club. And we want to quick sell you guys because you're not worth bugger all anyway. Got one more space left on the transfer list. And hopefully we are going to finish this episode. I think we will finish this episode now before we lose it. Um, we've got a rare player, so we might end up having to use that space. Although, probably not Touchinson. 80 rated, and I think that is... Is that Besiktas? So he's in the... Yeah, he's in the Turkish leagues. That's not bad. Turkish team isn't too bad, is it? We'll sell... We'll send everything to club and we'll quick sell these because there's not much in him. I think once we fill up our transfer list, we'll probably just finish the episode there. And um, I'll start the next episode when I clear the transfer list out. Give us another one. No, it's another rare player though. That's good. The CDM from Ajax. It's going to be Gudelj. Gudelj. Gudelj, everybody. Uh, that's the player we need. We've got Davis. I don't know if he'll sell Davis at all, to tell the truth. I'm, I'm not going to waste our spot on the transfer list for Davis. Or Marshall. They probably would sell, to tell the truth. But I'm not, I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste it. We've still got three Jumbo Premium Packs to open as well in the next episode. Small flare. So we have got a rare player in this pack, but it's not going to be our main player. So who do we get? It's going to be a uh, player from Colo Colo. Portuguese, uh, Portuguese, um, Chilean. That's the word I'm looking for. I know that because there used to be a player in Foot Manager I used to buy every single year who was from Colo Colo. I can't remember what he was named, uh, his name was now. He was, he was only 16 in the game and he was an incredible player. On rare Benfica's Horta. Right now, I might stop it there. It gives us a little bit of extra. Uh, I don't know. Got another thousand coins. Redeem you. And you know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put Horta on the transfer list, and we are gonna stop the episode right there. One thing actually, we will do together, as I put all this stuff in the club. Let's just watch the little video about the uh, the Halloween base players and see exactly what it says. This way, I can get an idea of whether it's going to be worth cashing in our Pia and our Fellaini, or whether it's worth keeping a hold of them. Um, Foot Central, is it? Right, let's, let's have a look. Let's see what it says. 23 players in the FIFA Ultimate Team are getting a scary stats boost during the Halloween weekend. Available in packs now on Halloween weekend. See them all come to life. Is that it? I did. I did read something about it. I'm sure it said that the um, that the players will be getting a stat boost. I can't believe we got 
we were saying that Fellaini's not the um, Payet's not the best player. The best player would have been, um, of course, Kevin. That's not Kevin De Bruyne. That's Muller, isn't it? I thought it was De Bruyne earlier on. That's Muller, yeah. So I don't. I, I think what it said from what, what I read when it came on, it said that the. It said that the player would drop down to its original stat value after the Halloween. Uh, I think it's by by November. So that would mean that Pyatt would drop back down to an 86, which I don't mind so much. I quite like him as an 86 anyway. He's still a fantastic card. But does that mean we still get to keep the funky card graphics? That's the thing that I want to... I'll tell you what, I'm going to find out now. We're going to finish the episode here. I'm going to sell all the stuff on the transfer list, which obviously is quite a lot. Hopefully we're going to get quite a lot of stuff from it as well. It's 70 items. Hopefully we can get some, uh, some dough back on that anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that now. And I'm also going to do a bit of digging on the Halloween cards and see exactly... What happens and if we lose the card um, sort of look? Because I like to keep the card look. And if it drops down to an 86 rate, I'm not sure. I'm not bothered, really. It's still a pretty damn good card, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to end it there. So, uh, of course, if you have enjoyed this episode, as always, please do hit the like button. It does really help me out. And, of course, if you are new around here and you've enjoyed what you've seen and you want to see some more, then please do hit that subscribe button as well. We've got Fellaini and we got Payet in this episode, both the Halloween cards. If that's not worth a thumbs up, I don't know what is. I'm Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.